What's up, Red and Black Faithful? Welcome to another edition of Overtime with a Daily Aztec, brought to you by Sterling Callwood Apartments, the official sponsor of Daily Aztec Sports. The San Diego State men's basketball team is well on its way in defending its MWC tournament crown with a 64-50 win over Utah in the quarterfinals of the tournament. Edward, this game wasn't always pretty, but the Aztecs found a way to get the job done. Yeah, like you said, it wasn't pretty at all, but they did, and they did it using Jamal Franklin, uh, a freshman, an uh, uh, unknown guy. Uh, and I can't tell you, we in October they had like a little pregame festiv festival, and it was just kind of dunk contest, and he was shooting threes and just shooting like this. And now he's got actually a nice form shot. And I talked to him after the game. He told me he's been working with the coaches, working with Kawhi Leonard, working with DJ Gay, working with everybody, trying to get his shot up. And it, you can see the, the, the progress he's made, three, three for four from three-point land, and uh, was really the best shooter uh, from the field today. Matt, what did you take away from this game? Well, staying on Jamal Franklin, I, don't, I think that he's grown as a shooter, but I think he's also grown as a person. I talked to him uh, after the game, and he said during the beginning part of the season, he was a little frustrated that he wasn't getting the playing time. But uh, he, he realized that he's just happy to be where he's at right now. And I think he has to have that sort of mentality to come out and do what he did tonight. You know what? My favorite part about Jamal Franklin's performance tonight was his little victory dance after every three-pointer. Yeah, it's called the kitchen dance, or the cooking dance. Uh, he, he told me it after the game. I was like, what was that? And we were laughing about it. And, and yeah, they give, they're ready to eat. Uh, so they do that little dance. It's a team thing. It's a team bonding thing. It really rallies the team. Can you show it to them? How do they did it? You know, I'm not very good at it, but it goes something like this, and then you cook it a little bit. <laughs> okay. That's kind of the way it is. We're awful. We need dancing lessons. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> now, Matt, uh, Utah's a 13-18 and 18 football team. Uh, basketball team? Ba basketball team. I'm sorry. <laughs> basketball yeah, yeah, yeah. team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sports riders, we promise. Um, it was kind of a blah first half. What, what did... What did you really take away from the opponent, uh, the Aztecs' performance? I wouldn't say it was a blah first half. They kept UNLV to 15 points. Uh, Utah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> just keeping you honest there, I want to make sure uh, you're on your game after that mess up earlier. But um, no, you can't really take too much away from it. We can drool over s the statistics. Malcolm Thomas, he almost had a triple-double. But like you said, at the end of the day, it's Utah. So we'll, get, we'll see uh, where their head's at tomorrow. They've got UNLV likely. Um, and I'll be interested to see if uh, we can beat, or if San Diego State can beat UNLV without DJ Gay. The guy went one for nine tonight. He can't find a shot. He looked frustrated coming out of the locker room tonight. Uh, I think they're going to need DJ Gay to find a shot if they want to win this tournament and if they want to go uh, far in the March Madness, in the big tournament. Edward, any, any final thoughts? Yeah, I talked to DJ about that after the game, and he told me that uh, he doesn't know what's going on. He's going to try to shoot out of it. He said he's going to try to get to the free throw line a little bit more to work on his shot, and he's going to try to maybe take mid-range jumpers instead of always three-point shots. So he, he's a good guy. He'll find a way out of it, and we're all rooting for him. There you have it. This has been brought to you by Sterling Callwood Apartments, the official sponsor of Daily Aztec Sports. Come sign up for the newest green luxury off-campus apartments near SDSU for fall 20, 2011. That's been another edition of Overtime with the Daily Aztec. As always, thanks for kicking it, Overtime. <laughs>